Hello everyone, this is Koda giving you a shoutcast between Daimaga and Hasu... Um, Hasu Obs? Is it? Yes, uh, Hasu Obs. I'll just call him Hasu. So it's Daimaga versus Hasu here on Kulas Ravine. We have Daimaga spawning as the red zerg on the bottom left hand side at what I'll call the 7 o'clock position. Meanwhile, we have Hasu spawning as the yellow Protoss over here at what I'll call the 10 o'clock position on Kulas Ravine. So this is going to be a Zerg versus Protoss matchup here on Kulas Ravine. Going to be interested in seeing how this particular game plays out. Already we have an Observer going to go ahead and drop down that pylon and then perhaps continue, yes, continue walking on out of there in order to do some early scouting. Because this is a four player map, a lot of Zerg players generally feel a little bit safer, as I've said before, in, or in getting that fast expansion up and running. So Protoss players as their workers do not need to stick around in order to build those buildings can continue walking on after they built that pylon or built that gateway. So Observer just doing a little bit of scouting, making sure, trying to figure out where exactly that build is. Peppy the Probe, however, scouting in the wrong direction. Overlord now moving on out, going to be heading off in the wrong direction as well. So both players um, scouting in the wrong direction and well Daimaga may be trying to go for an early hatchery nope never mind going for that spawning pole so spawning pole now being um, morphed into play as that overlord now moving very very slowly to that north side so hatchery or sorry hatchery going to be probably most likely building that queen in just a moment as well probe of Hasu going to quickly find out that he scouted in the wrong direction and realize that it is on that south side and now building a pylon over here so building a pylon right next to those destructible rocks in order to keep track of them making sure that no units are really being warped in from that position single single pylon i'm operating a single gateway at this stage so we'll see if whether or not hasu wants to reinforce that pylon in order to make sure that none of his gateways are no longer operational so hasu complaining about spikes in lag and now in comes this daimaga now going for a very early hatchery so this hatchery is in fact in play and now we also have a spawning pool in play not producing the queen the 150 minerals instead of building a queen or instead of building a queen being used in order to get a hatchery down instead so will allow him to try to mine some additional things and uh, mine more uh, mine for more mineral traps now we have six zerglings already on the move trying to protect this hatchery so six zerglings going to perhaps try to surround that one probe no not going to surround that probe as that hatchery is currently still growing up to be a hatchery or that drone still being still growing up to be that hatchery so that hatchery is still in position and now more zealots and a single probe coming in once again trying to take this down this this one hatchery is already excuse me already down to 500 hit points but nearly nearing completion Zell or zergling coming in trying to get in a couple quick hits a couple of drones coming in as well we'll see whether or not this hatchery is going to be able to come back in and those zealots being forced to pull back away as those drones now hovering around trying to get a surround off on one of those drones and those um uh, sorry one of those uh, zealots and that probe a couple of drones now continuing to move around queen now moving over to try to engage on this fight drones once again doing a little bit of their throwing in their spines trying to do a little bit of a save and now able to take down that one probe so one probe taken down uh, losses wise both uh, what hasu uh, units lost and um, daimaga lost three zerglings however hasu lost one probe in that whole entire matchup back over here once again a couple zerglings still um couple zerglings just trying to stand guard i do not see a baneling nest or a roaches den yet so daimaga not going for any 1.5 um, tiered or 1.5 tier units at this stage roaches would be a good option along with zerg or as long with banelings as well but those zealots sitting on that really really tight choke point those zerglings will not be able to get in there and quickly taking down that one zergling trying to that was trying to test that waters sentry now going to be most likely leaving on that back back side in order to be able to use a little bit of that range damage zergling still running around the map I'm taking a look at Daimaga. Daimaga playing in pretty good control at this stage. Has a, has a fair amount of view all across the whole entire map. Knows what's happening. Meanwhile, Hasu only knows what's really happening in his base. Pylon, or that Overlord, going to get taken down by that Sentry, however. And we do, in fact, have a Void Ray. So Hasu now building a Void Ray up. And using that Chrono Boost, the Void Rays have been upgraded um, significantly since the um, in Patch 8, as they now deal more damage to non-heavy units. Down goes that Overlord.
still overlords sitting over here and over here as well. Oh, sorry, that Zergling. Zergling getting surrounded by four Zealots. And now a secondary gateway being built in so that Sentry will in fact be able to use some force field as well and try to choke off some of these units if they if they do try to push on through unit army wise 42 over 42 both sides unit wise we have one void ray four zealots and a sentry against a large number of zerglings and queen and two queens one at each of those hatcheries no one really breaking through those destructible rocks at this stage secondary void ray now being a warped in as we have a single void ray still continuing to move on out we'll see how this is really going to work as that void ray and deals what five damage should be able to take down that queen very very easily we'll see how what's really going to win out between these two as that queen continuing to try to fight back against that uh, void ray void ray already down to uh, what 28 shields and then in comes that queen queen trying to fight back a little bit more spore crawler now being um, um, rooted in position and we have a hydralis den Void Raid now trying to push back away that Queen, seeing that 61, 58 hit points. Perhaps should try to get onto that high ground and then perhaps take, take, take down the Queen. Queen down to 44. Is he going to get taken down? No, the Void Raid gets taken down first. So very nicely done. And now a secondary Void Raid already coming in and down goes that one single um, Queen. Now in comes that Spore Crawler. Spore Crawler now trying to come in, trying to push back against that attack. Is he going to get that layer? The layer, no, does not look like it will get taken down. And that Spore Crawler will be able to shoot down that one Void Ray as those Overlords are overhead, offering sight onto that high ground. So that Void Ray, once again, pulling back out. S gonna go ahead and zap that Zergling, however, getting a little bit angry at that Zergling. Perhaps gonna go after some of these Overlords. In addition, Hydralis now, however, coming on out, and those Hydralis will be, in fact, able to shoot down that Void Ray very easily, trying to use that high ground advantage. Continuing to push back and then move and push, move and push. Hydralist now activating that Zelnaga Watchtower. Back in the base of Hasu. Hasu now upgrading to Warp Gates. So going to Warp Gates, now going to Robo Bay and a secondary gateway as well. Hasu sitting on a large number of minerals. No real reason to sit on that many minerals at this stage in the game. However, Zerglian's pushing through on these back on the back door of these destructible rocks. Zerglian sitting on that front as well. Perhaps we'll see a little bit more action coming into play. Observer most likely going to be built. Yeah, Hasu realizing that he needs some of those observers off, off, operating off of a three gate and a single stargate. Zerglings and Hydralis taking down these destructible rocks. And destructible rocks will get taken down. And those Hydralis will perhaps be able to push on through here. There is a single sentry, a couple of zealots, and a couple of stalkers as well. So uh, guarding this front door, but when these units be able to, when these units are able to bust through this back door and push on through, that may be, um, may be a very very short story for Daimaga. Daimaga has an overseer in the base. Is he gonna try to drop a? No, he's not gonna drop a, a changeling. But that overseer in, uh, just pushing at that wrong time, pushing into that base, losing a lot of that gas. There is a changeling, however, running around, offering a little bit of sight as those zerglings, or sorry, as those zealots and those stalkers once again are on the move. Is he going to go after that one zealot? That zealot, yeah, that zealot. Whenever you see a zealot not walking the way you expect it to, there's something to be suspicious of. Stalker is now moving over here, waiting for that observer. Observer, of observer is overhead, so only those hydralists are continuing to be able to break through. And we now have a colossus being built, robotics bay up and running but no range research just quite yet hydralis with that range attack able to take down those destructible rocks without any real concern destruct needle spines dealing 10 damage each against those destructible rocks as those hydralis and um, as the destructible rocks do in fact have three armor so the hydralis really the one able dealing the majority of that damage as opposed to those zerglings earlier destructible rocks will in fact get taken down and now we're going to have stalkers and trying to fight back against this whole entire um, army and we'll see how this really works out colossus now coming in zealots quickly make short work of those zerglings colossus pushing pushing back up trying to take down some of those um hydralists those stalkers should be able to just move in a oh nice force field preventing any uh, any real attacking getting two hydralists off of that push so very nicely done one single colossus however still not up uh, um no, still not out of the woods yet as daimaga is sitting at tier two and also getting also has an infester now, this is just my personal thought on those Infestors. Infestors, that Neural Parasite for 50 energy is just way too good at this stage. It can swing an army by 12 as you're able to essentially take out one of his 12 uh, six, food arm, six food units and grab one of your own. So we'll see how this is really going to work. Stalkers really need to be careful in taking down this 
and taking down the Infestor as that Infestor will be able to narrow Parasite and then just start tearing through his own Zealots and his own Stalkers. Stay tuned for part 2 of this replay between Hasu and Daimaga here on Kulas Ravine.